In this video, we'll look at a few examples of statistics problems, concentrating on the trickiest type of problems. You will need to calculate three types of averages, mean, median, and mode. The mean is the sum of all the data divided by n, which represents the number of pieces of data. The median is the middle value when the data is in order from lowest to highest, or vice versa. The mode is the most frequently occurring data. For small sets, these are easy calculations, but larger data sets can be trickier and are sometimes organized into a frequency distribution. This distribution shows the number of tardies of a class of high school kids. This means that 15 kids have no tardies, 22 kids have one tardy, 35 kids have two tardies, etc. To find the mean of this data, we need the sum and we need n. Well, for the sum, for example, there's 35 kids with two tardies. So to add those up, we'd be adding 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 35 times. Well, the fastest way to do that is to multiply 2 times 35 equals 70. And multiply each row. Then to find the grand total, which would be the sum, we add that entire column. That's 436, so that is the sum of all the data. Now we need to find n. Well, n is the number of pieces of data, so how many? Well, there's 15 zeros and there's 22 ones. So far, that would be 15 plus 22 equals 37 pieces of data. Well, to find the total of how many, or the total of all of the data, how many we have, we would add the frequency column. When we add that, we get 162. So that's the value of n. To find the mean then, we need to take the sum divided by n, which is 436, divided by 162, or 2.69135. For mean, our rule of thumb will be that we'll round to one decimal place, and that will be 2.7. Now the median. To find the median, or the middle value, we need to know where the halfway point is. We can use position numbers to find it. Imagine writing out all this data, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Well, in the first 15 positions, there are zeros. The first position, second position, third position, up to the 15th position. Well, which position is the median in? There are 162 data items, since n equals 162. Half of 162 is 81, so the middle is around the 81st position. To find the precise position number, we can use a formula to find it. The position number for the median is found using the formula n plus 1 divided by 2. So our n is 162. plus 1 would be 163, and then divided by 2 gives us 81.5. This means the median is between the 81st and 82nd positions. Well, where are, are those positions? We find them by counting through the frequency column. The 15th position all holds zeros, so the 15th position holds the last zero. That means the 16th position has a 1 in it. 
In fact, if we add 15 plus 22 equals 37, that means that the last one is in the 37th position. So we're up to 15, 22, that's the 37th position. Now the next one is 35. So if I add 35 plus the 37th position, that would be the 72nd position. And we're looking for the 81st and 82nd position. That's, that's not far enough yet. So if we add, the next frequency is 42. And if I add 42 plus 70, 72, that would be 114. So that's the 114th position. And that's farther than we need to go. That's past our 81st and 82nd positions. So the numbers we want are past this column, and they would be in this next one here. That's the one that had frequency 42. So the numbers we're looking for are the numbers that are in this group with the frequency 42, and that would be the three. So the median would be the number of tardies in this group here, which would be three. Now the mode. The mode is the most frequently occurring value. That would be the value with the highest frequency. So look in the frequency column and find the highest or the greatest frequency. Well, the highest number in the frequency column, the biggest number here, is 42. Now that's not the mode but it tells you that the mode is the number of tardies with that highest frequency of 42. And the number of tardies with frequency 42 is three. That's the mode. So the mode is three. Section 12.4 is about the normal distribution, a particular type of data set that often describes real life data like height or shoe size. For a normal distribution, if we just know the mean, and in the normal distribution, the mean will be equal to the median and the mode. So if we know the mean and the standard deviation, which is a measurement of how far the data spreads out or deviates from the mean, we can find precise percentages of data that fall within various ranges. Those numbers, 68, 95, 99.7 rule, which you'll read about in your reading worksheet. What that rule says is that 68% of any normally distributed population falls within one standard deviation of the mean. If you go within two standard deviations of the mean, 95% of the population falls in that range, and 99.7% of the population falls within three. Using those percentages, we can find the percentage of the population that belongs in each of these regions of the graph. Details of how these were calculated are on your 12.4a reading worksheet. Our example here says, IQ scores on one type of IQ test have a mean of 110 and a standard deviation of 25. Use the 68, 99.7 rule to find the percentage of people that would score in each of these ranges. The numbers you see below the graph are called z-scores. z equals zero represents the mean. Positive z-scores are above the mean, negative are below. z equals one means one standard deviation above the mean. z equals negative one is one below. To do a particular example, use the graph, but replace the z-value z equals zero with the mean for that problem, which is 110 this time. To get the value for z equals one, we add the mean plus the standard deviation. 110 plus 25, that's 135. To get the next bar, add the standard deviation again. 135 plus 25 equals 160. One more, 160 plus 25 is 185. 
For negative z values, subtract the standard deviation. 110 minus 25 equals 85, minus 25 again, 60, minus 25 again, 35. For part A, find the percentage between 60 and 160. Well, we can note, if we mark those bars, those correspond to the bars between z equals negative 2 and z equals 2, so in other words, within two standard deviations. Well, the 68.95.99.7 rule says that the percentage that are between those two bars or in that region is 95%. So our answer is going to be 95%. An alternate way to do it though is to add all these percentages between these bars. 13.5% plus 34% plus 34% plus 13.5%. And if you add those, you also get 95%. Okay, so the markings on the graph are green for part A. Let's do, uh, for part B, we'll do yellow markings. So part B is to find the percentage between 85 and 110. Here's 85 and here's 110. And there's only one region in between there. So that percentage would be the answer, 35%. That should have been 34%, sorry, so 34%. And sorry, there was a mistake here in the transcript down below that should have said 34%. For part C, we'll mark the graph with pink. Find the percentage above 135. So here's the bar for 135. We need to add all the percentages above or to the right of the bar for 135, which will be 13.5% plus 2.35% plus 0.15%. Which comes out to 16%. Always give the exact answer that you get by adding these percentages. Don't round off your answer for these problems.